Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to save some extra space on your Mac's hard drive. Now there's no worse when we see this message saying your startup disk is almost full. Basically we've got to start deleting things on our Mac. So first thing I normally do is basically empty the trash. And I definitely recommend doing that straight away because it can save quite a bit of space on your hard drive. But still you need to start removing other items on your computer, deleting things. And a little tip for you because I don't think a lot of people realise this is I recommend going into iTunes and if you're an iPhone or an iPad or iPod user you've probably got a lot of applications and really you'll have all these applications on your MacBook but you've got to ask yourself do you really need to have them all stored in your MacBook and the answer is no you don't you can actually delete all these as you can see I've got 263 applications and now I don't know how much space these are taking up but I'm assuming it's going to be quite a lot of gigabytes it could be a 20 gigabytes or something like that if not more so if you're someone who downloads a lot of free apps or a lot of paid apps you're, you're going to have a lot of hard drive space taken up with these applications and you really don't need it so to delete them just go command A and it will select all the apps in iTunes then go command delete and you can delete them and now what you need to do is click on move to trash like so might take a few seconds for them all to delete and there you go, gone now empty my trash and it will completely remove the, all them applications now you're wondering what happens if I need to get these applications back well don't worry because if you go into iTunes and you can go to purchase history and you can re-download the applications and it will cost you nothing extra once you've paid for them, you only have to pay for them once, you never have to pay for them again. So as you can see here, this is a history of all my applications, what I've downloaded in the past. If there's a particular app I want to look for, example, Spider-Man, say I want to re-download Spider-Man, do a search, and as you can see, it's found Spider-Man, and I can re-download it if I choose to. Now, don't worry, if you, if you go into your App Store, and you um, find an application what you've already bought again you don't have to pay for it again because you'll notice as you see instead of having a price next to the game Spider-Man it says download I can download this again it will not cost me anything extra so I'll have to pay for it once so I definitely recommend you manage your apps within your iPad or iPhone because there's no real reason to have them stored on your Mac taking up valuable space as you can see you can view your purchase history through the App Store on the iPad or iPhone. If you want to download one of your previous purchased apps then you can download it from this screen. Also you can do a quick search for any apps you may want to download. And If you're just browsing the App Store and you come across an application you might have downloaded in the past instead of having the price next to it it will actually have an install button so you can install it again if you need to. Um, no way you'll actually pay for it a second time. So hopefully you found that tip helpful. If you did then please like and subscribe because it always appreciated. Also if you're wishing follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.